Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel, The Eaton Squad. My name is Addy. So for today's video are the Bureau of Immigration Reminders to all travelers exiting the Philippines. Details coming right. <laughs> So the Bureau of Immigration have some reminders to all travelers exiting the Philippines. These are for foreign tourists, Filipino tourists going abroad for the first time or second time or third time. Also for foreigners who are registered in the Philippines with ACRI card or unaccompanied minors going abroad. So let's talk about each one of them. And I am also going to show you guys a video because the Bureau of Immigration has posted this video, especially to Filipino tourists going abroad, that this is the procedure when you go through your immigration process interview for the first time as a tourist and i also have a little bit of follow-up with regard to the e-travel for departure i am going to show you guys on the latest update from the e-travel platform itself so hang on tight let's get started so for foreign tourists exiting the philippines the bureau of immigration urge who have stayed in the country for more than six months to secure their immigration clearance certificate, this is the ECC, in any of the different BI's district field, satellite and extension offices nationwide. So if you are a foreign national and you have stayed in the Philippines for more than six months, you are required to process your immigration exit clearance because this is required if you have stayed in the Philippines longer. For registered foreigners with ACR I-card, examples of this are 13 A visa holders. Secure your re-entry permits in other BI offices or at the BI NAIA one-stop shop before proceeding to your flight. So if you are a 13 A visa holder, you have stayed in the Philippines longer, longer than six months, the more you need to get the ECC plus the re-entry permit coming back to the Philippines. So my husband is a 13A. He have stayed here in the Philippines for almost three years now. We haven't been back to the United States since the pandemic. When we were processing his 13A, the Bureau of Immigration Davao showed us the process if in case we are exiting the Philippines. So he needs to secure the immigration exit clearance or the ECC and the re-entry permit coming back into the Philippines. So to those 13A visa holders in the channel, if you guys have experienced this, I would appreciate it if you guys can comment down below what's your process getting the ECC and getting the re-entry permit and was it smooth coming back in the Philippines after your short vacation abroad. For Filipino government officials and employees, if you guys are going out of the country, Present your required authority to travel abroad from their representative department head. So I know summertime is starting and for sure some government official, whether it's for a personal trip or a government trip. So this is what was said by the Bureau of Immigration to secure to go abroad. For unaccompanied minors, you guys also have this protocol. Make sure that the latter secure the required clearance from the Department of Social Welfare and Development or DSWD prior to their flight. So make sure you have this documentation. If you are flying as an accompanied minor going abroad. So it's important that you guys have the documentation from the DSWD. For overseas bound travelers, check in at least three hours before their flight and proceed directly to the immigration area for processing to avoid airport congestion. So this has been a suggestion that if you are flying internationally, you must be at the airport three to four hours prior to departure because you have to go through some process. You have to check in, drop off luggage, immigration process, and all that stuff. So the Bureau of Immigration is here to remind go to the airport at least three hours prior to your departure. The commissioner also has added that recently installed e-gates are at the BI's arrival areas in major international airports are also expected to decrease processing time 
from 45 seconds to as low as 8 seconds. So, they have e-gates installed now at the airport. This is the machine that all you gotta do is scan your passport and you're good to go, just like what they do in the United States. So, take advantage of the e-gates when you arrive in the Philippines so your process is smooth and quick and you can get out of the airport as quick as you can. Also, the Bureau of Immigration has posted a video for Filipino tourists going abroad, especially if you are going abroad for the first time. This is supposed to be their process. This is supposed to be the interview process from an immigration officer to the tourist when you are leaving the country. So it seems that this procedure has been implemented. But unfortunately, if you guys have watched the news, the Bureau of Immigration is on the hot seat. They were even called at the Senate for a hearing on what's going on because there were a lot of chaos happened at the airport involving immigration officers. So with this video, they are showing you guys, especially to those who are going out of the country for the first time, these are their procedures or interview procedures or requirements that they ask from the traveler. So let's watch this. Papaano ba ang proseso ng immigration officer sa primary inspection counter? Saan kung pa na destination nila? Singapore. Singapore. Gano'n po sila katagal sa Singapore? One week. Ma'am, saan kang pa na kayo currently employed? Yes, it's me. Pwede kong rin ang company ID. Pwede kong mahirap yung hotel booking in the third ticket nyo? Okay lang po nasa sa'yo. Okay lang po kawa kang tingko? Ma'am, patang na po ng mask. Tingin po tayo sa camera. Okay na po. Okay po kayo. Thank you po. seems easy and the immigration officer is nice and I'm really hoping that this will apply in actual situation because what I've heard on the negative side this is not how travelers were treated especially if you are first timers luckily when I am traveling in and out of the country I have not or have yet to encounter a rude immigration officer Everybody seems that I dealt with are nice, so, and I'm really sorry to those travelers, first time travelers, especially if you guys have a bad experience in some immigration officers. But I'm really hoping that this is the kind of procedure that the Bureau of Immigration is implementing, especially to first time travelers. And please, first time travelers or second time, third time, every time you go through the immigration process, you can actually show this video you can actually keep this video as an evidence that hey you guys have uploaded this in your facebook page that this is the process if you are going out of the country so what happened especially if you guys get treated rudely during your immigration process this is actually a good evidence for you guys that you can show that hey isn't it supposed to be like this and not being rude to me during my interview so keep this video and hopefully this will help you guys one day also, the other reminder from the Bureau of Immigration, this e-travel for departure. So, I have checked the e-travel website, www.etravel.gov.ph. So, when I was checking it, the usual at the homepage, they have the Philippine passport holder and the foreign passport holder. But they have added the type of traveler. They have this travel type column that says in the drop down arrival and departure. So as you guys can see on this video that when you click the Philippine passport holder, it has the arrival and the departure choices. Then when you click the foreign passport holder, they also have the arrival and the departure choices. So I'm not really sure if the foreign nationals are now included in the registration of e-travel when you leave the Philippines. So, like I said, this will start on April 15, full implementation on May the 1st. And like I have said in my previous videos, they are tweaking the system, they are updating the system of e-travel, and hopefully we have more detailed information on this. 
one who really are those travelers that needs to register with e-travel so that's about it guys i hope this reminder from the bureau of immigration will serve you guys as a guide if you are exiting the philippines as a foreign tourist foreign national filipino citizen unaccompanied minors or if you are a government official use this as a guide when you go abroad and hopefully you will have a safe trip and hassle-free flight overseas bound so this is our latest travel updates to the philippines thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions concerns or inquiries with regards to this video or in any of our travel related videos please comment down below and i will try to get back to you guys as soon as i can or you can direct message me in our facebook page same handle the eating squad again guys thank you thank you so much for the continued support and trust to our channel and to our family i hope to see you on our next travel update stay safe stay healthy and god bless everyone Oh, 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 oh,